Would you like to customize the icon so you can make your own magical symbols? Trying to add in some fanciness to your gear? Or you just want to add in some really cool special effects? Well, you're at the right place. Welcome to The Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Maho Tsukai. And these are just samples of some of the things that you could potentially do with the mod. I have a few things that we're going to be going over today. To start with, we've got a fog projector. This is a really cool thing to play with. You can mess with your friends quite a bit with this one. And just by holding a fog projector, you can actually see an outline to a point. Now, if you're under the effects of the fog projector, it might be a little bit more difficult to see it because it can add in a lot of fog. Now, you can also customize this. By making one of these things, they're simply made with some redstone dust, a spell cloth, and powdered eyes, which of course are eyes of ender being ground up in either a mortar and pestle or hammer. You'll then get one of these green boxes that I have in my hand. You can simply place it down, and then when you right click on it, you'll have a huge amount of items on a UI that you can customize to your own liking. Now right now I have the radius down here set at two. That's just two blocks. So right now, if you watch in the distance, let me line up with this block here, you'll start noticing that the sky starts turning a bit gray and the fog starts moving in as I get really close to this block. Just by standing on the block, almost everything is obscured. That's how thick you can make it. It doesn't have to be quite so heavy. But you can also have it affect a much wider area as well as customize the colors. For example, if I change the fog radius to 200, it's going to be foggy everywhere you go and it'll be very difficult to see. You might not even be able to find your fog projector uh, unless you've got something to look for it through because it might also be obscured as well. But once you get to it, then you can always edit it again. Now, yes, as I said, you can customize it to be all sorts of different colors so you can make it a bit more moody or almost blindingly white in some ways simply by changing the little RGB values down here. Now, yes, you can also change all sorts of different options in here. I'm not going to be really covering too much of that, but for now, I am going to just keep this at a low radius of two whew, so that I'm not quite as heavily affected by it and you can mess around with that making it thicker thinner uh, brighter darker multicolored and so on and just place one of those things down and they're just a lot of fun to kind of mess around or give at least an atmosphere to whatever build you have but the meat and potatoes of what I'm going to be covering today is one of these, a Mahojin Projectors. This is made from powdered gold, redstone dust, and spell cloth. Placing one of these things down, you'll start seeing a really wonderful display of all sorts of just really pretty runes and symbols that does resemble that of which uh, that a mystic code uses as well. So you'll notice here that we've got the different uh, just kind of like symbols rotating on my arm as well as on the front of my fist. And you can modify this quite a bit to your liking. Now in here the setting is a little bit different with the UI once you click on it. It is just the RGB values are up here for changing the color of all the symbols. You've got your different yaws and pitch, rotation, ways that you can manipulate the different circles, the speed that it can go in, the size that you can have it so that it can be much larger or smaller. It can be absolutely huge. For instance, let's change the size of this one to 100. Oh my gosh, I have runes covering the entire base area. You can also change where it's located. For instance, I don't want it to be directly on top of the block. Let's have it be about 20 blocks up from where I set this down. And you can see just about where the sun is, especially if I move it out of the way so you can see it a little bit clearer. It is now about 20 blocks above me and it is still rotating and looking awfully pretty. Let's bring that down to about two blocks for now. And there we go, I now have this wonderful design. If you notice here, my character, is currently kind of outfitted with all sorts of like cool ruined shoulder pads as well as like little mouse faces on most of these things. And I've got one that even follows the orientation of my head. And I'm going to show you how you can do this. First, I'm going to take these pieces of uh, armor off just so that I can better illustrate things a little bit simpler. And then you need some kind of armor, whether it be enchanted or not, makes no difference. I'm in survival mode, and just by hovering over any of these, it gives you information. Right click to replace the latest projection on this armor, or Y and right click to add a new projection to the armor. So you can stack multiple projections. So if I wanted to have this, where it's got this uh, floating circle a uh, couple blocks up from where I'm at, I could simply do that, and then I could also add in other effects, all stacking on the same piece of armor if I wanted. And then if I hit N and right click, it'll remove the latest projection on the armor. So if you uh, kind of mess up the order of some of these things, you can change that around. Now, something you should be aware of is that 
any of these pieces of armor, whether it be your arms, legs, feet, whatever, are pretty much uniform. They're going to be floating like in front of you, behind you, uh, above or below, and so on. And they'll stay in a static position relative to your character. But if you have it on a piece like your helmet, for example, it will rotate with wherever you're looking or wherever your head is. So if I'm looking around, you can see I've got this giant like rune effect above my head that follows the orientation of where I'm looking. And all I did was just right click on this block with that item. Now if I want, I can hold Y and right click on another piece and another and another until eventually I get as many of these as I want. Then when I put it on, I get all sorts of weird effects covering my body that follows the orientation of my head. So you can see that it, even the shoulder pads and the stuff on my back rotates and kind of cuts into my body as well. It's a little bit weird. So I don't recommend putting too many on your head unless you want it to actually follow your uh, orientation of your face. But if I take something like this iron chest plate here, then I can click on here and it will simply stay wherever uh, I, I want it to. You know, basically like horizontal as it is currently created in the block here. Now the simplest way that I can explain how you can uh, see or test with this stuff, in this case I'm going to hit M and I'm going to right click and it's going to remove the projection. Putting it on you see the projection is no longer there even though it does still have like the enchanted effect on it. And it's not costing me any levels or anything. This is free to apply. But if I place down a set of like an armor stand here, that should give me some idea of how things can work. So if I want to see how this will orient, I could probably just set this next to it to start with. So you can see that this is going to hover above where this is. By changing the X value on this to minus one, it's actually going to move this over by one block. And that's just so that I get the idea of how this is going to work. So by putting a helmet on this, I can see, well, this is going to float a little bit too high. So maybe I want to reduce that Y value by a little bit. 1.5 puts it flush with the helmet here, and you can see that it kind of clips into it a little bit. That being a little bit too close, let's increase it just a tad. There we go. So now if I want, I can have some kind of uh, halo set. But it, I've got the entire like uh, rune set floating around the outside, plus an icon in the middle. You have the options here of turning those both on and off. So I want to keep the ring, but I'm going to get rid of the circle in the middle. And there we go, I now have kind of a halo effect. Now if I really wanted to, I could drop this down so it's 0.5 and then surrounding the character's body. All right, raising that up a little bit so it's just underneath the arms, I think that looks a little bit better. Let's modify this further. Now if you keep in mind, this says circle. This applies to the circle over here and maybe the entire item. But the ring is specifically customized over here as well especially if it says ring in the title. So the ring angle. Let's change that to a 90 degrees. There we go. And now we've got some really cool runes going around our body. Really neat. So let's take this. But before I do it, because I changed this so that the X value was off by a block, I'm going to change that back to uh, the original. So it's right here. And now when I click with this and I put on this chest piece, I now look like I have some kind of like bands going around my character's body. So how do I customize the icon in the center? Because if, obviously I can turn off the ring and then I can show the circle and it's just the circle in the middle and you, I could always add that on as well. But how, how do I change it from the default like stars and uh, like boxes or lines and shapes into something a little bit more customized? Well, you'll need to go into your saves folder for whatever world you're in. If this is on a server, you will have to go into the world folder. Then find Maho Tsukai, go into server configs, and open up your Maho Tsukai server toml. Now, in and of itself, it doesn't look like much. There's a lot in here that you can scroll through and get really confused about. What I recommend is just scrolling all the way to the end or doing a search for projector or magic underscore circles. And this is basically the area that you're going to be looking for. This allows you to add in your own custom links for the runes or circles in the middle. The runes are the ones that are circling around it while the circles are like the little mouse face that you saw me change in there. Now I currently have a link here. You're more than welcome to use it. It's gonna be in the description below. Uh, and this can be uh, kind of inserted for your own fun with adding in like the mischief logo onto your person or, well, into your world at the very least. Like these boots right now are giving me this little uh, black mousy icon on my chest. Pretty darn cool. Uh, but I thought you guys might enjoy this. I did set it up so that each different piece of armor actually gives me different effects. 
Right now I've got like a double circle on the back, uh, one smaller than the other. Adding in the chest plate gives me like these really cool shoulder pads that are kind of slightly slanted with a bit of a curved edge to it. And of course adding in the helmet gives me kind of like this yellow halo, which we all know that's just something not appropriate for me. But it's still really cool looking nonetheless. And I have one of these projectors set up for each one just so that I can access them whenever I like. And they're displaying it. So if you want to actually display the new icon instead of this old icon, you're going to want to right click on here, access the UI, and you're going to change the circle list index. By default it's set to negative one. Any items that you put into the Maho Tsukai Tamil file, uh, basically in this line here, you can then put, you know, like a comma and add in some more if you so desire. Uh, but this one here is going to be zero, the next one will be one, the next one after that will be two. They identify as those numbers. You don't need to number them. So this one that I have right here is actually registered as zero. Going back here, you can see the circle list index set as zero will do this and if I change it to minus one it'll go back to the default setting which is just a bunch of stars and circles and such but by changing it to zero which is the next number in line instead of the default it will change it to the mischief mice icon. Grabbing the armor stand you can see that I've got a shoulder pad here and here. Between these two it kind of lines up to it. You can always just use these to kind of guesstimate if it's in the right spot you know all right yep that's right on the shoulder that's going to work pretty good. Get some random piece of gear, just right click on a couple of items, then when you put it on there, you get your effects. Just remember, as I did there, I only got one effect. <laughs> you're going to want to make sure to hit the appropriate hotkey and then right click to add something to it, or else you're not going to get both effects. There we go, we now have two shoulder pads. And you can add a whole bunch of these, you can put them all on one piece of armor if you want. Now you don't have to have them on armor as you notice here. I currently have these just kind of floating, I'm walking through this area and there's no blocks in place. It's simple. I have a bl I have them placed down below and they're just raised up with the X, Y, and Z values, which you can have these kind of, you know, display things quite a f distance off if you really wanted to. Have some kind of projector over your door, your house, or surrounding your area to make it look even more magical, mystical, or just really cool and interesting. And if you want to see more about this mod, don't be afraid to click the video link that's popping up now. Don't be afraid to stop by on Twitch. And as always, see you guys next time.